Hello, friends, and welcome to Lesson 5, Thomas Jefferson, in our CKLA Domain 12, Presidents and United States Symbols. So today, we're going to talk about Thomas Jefferson, but I want to give you some background information so we can kind of think about this. Who were our founding fathers and what did they do? If you said our founding fathers were men from the original colonies to help write the Constitution, the plan for how our country should be run, you are spot on. The family fathers did decide how they wanted their country to be run by a president instead of a king, and they worked together to help found this nation. Stand up or sit down if I use the sentence correctly. Was George Washington a fan founding father? I love that you're standing up. Great job. What about this one? Was George Washington the only founding father? You were so quick to sit down. I'm glad we're not tricking you today. George Washington wasn't the only founding father of our country. Each of the founding fathers had a special role to play. Each person had a special talent that helped them to help our country. In today's read aloud, we're gonna learn about another one of our founding fathers who became the third president of the United States. His name was Thomas Jefferson and one of his many talents was writing. Throughout our read aloud, I want you to consider that why would being a writer help you be a very good leader? You are learning to read and write. One day, you'll be able to pick up almost any book, open it, and start to read the words. How wonderful. Of course, someone wrote those words. People who write books are called, that's right, authors. Author is another word for writer. Our third president, Thomas Jefferson, was a great reader. Because he wanted to learn about many different things, he owned more than books than anyone else in the country. He once said, I cannot live without books. How many of you feel that you can't live without books? That's quite a few hands. Thomas Jefferson was also one of the best writers ever to live in the United States. He wrote words that are still famous all around the world, even though he wrote them a long time ago. Let me tell you about the most famous words he ever wrote. It was long past midnight. The guests at the inn wanted to sleep, but they could not. Thomas Jefferson was keeping them awake. They could hear him pacing in his room and talking to himself. Pacing is when you walk back and forth over and over again. Can you think in your heads why he might be pacing? The guests thought, we'll complain to the manager of the inn tomorrow. She must ask Mr. Jefferson to be quiet. At least he has to stop playing his fiddle. Remember, a fiddle is a violin. He says it helps him think, but it's keeping us awake. Thomas Jefferson was a wonderful writer. He wrote about what he grew on his farm and how he grew it. He wrote about music and art. He wrote about the best ways to design and construct houses and buildings. He wrote about animals and birds. He wrote about how to be a good friend. He wrote about the Native Americans who had come to America long before the colonists. Remember, colonists are people who live in a colony, but they're ruled by another country. He wrote about nearly everything because nearly everything interested him. At the time, however, Jefferson was trying to write a very important document or paper that is now famous in American history, the Declaration of Independence. A declaration is a statement or announcement, and independence is another word for freedom. So Thomas Jefferson believed people should be free to make most decisions for themselves without a king or queen telling them what to do all the time. As he wrote the Declaration of Independence, he used a important word, liberty. We've learned about what liberty means. What does liberty mean? Freedom, awesome job remembering. In writing about liberty, Jefferson wanted to choose the best words so that people reading his writing would understand and agree with his idea. Why do you think Thomas Jefferson is writing this document? Like his friend George Washington, Jefferson thought it was time to start a new country and not be a part of Great Britain any longer. Not everyone in the colonies felt this way though. Jefferson, along with a few others, needed to give good, strong reasons to make this change. They were hoping to persuade or urge most of the colonists to believe the same thing. Leaders from all over the 13 colonies met to talk about what to say. 
they chose five people to work on a document explaining the reasons for a new nation. And you will get to hear more about this in our next Read Aloud. I can't wait for you to learn more about Thomas Jefferson and his amazing writing abilities.